What's up guys, Matt the Riffmaster here. Today we're going to be discussing things not to do when buying an expensive guitar. Now this video may be a little more different than what you think it's going to be. But it's something that's come up, a few people have spoke to me about things, things I've experienced in the past. And it's something that I truly believe in. When you when you spend a lot of money on a guitar, so if you're, I'm um, say, I'm talking like, ah, uh, let's go anything over a thousand pound or whatever that is in your currency. So I have a couple of expensive guitars. I have this one, the ESP E2, beautiful, very expensive, uh, over fifteen hundred pound. I have my Gibson Flying V, again, similar price range around 1500 so I've got these expensive guitars and I thought of something that we could talk about like I said things not to do now obviously you've got your your basics I know don't leave it out in the snow I mean that's a big don't do that <laughs> don't throw it down the stairs unless it's one of those like vintage Gibsons that where when they break and you fix them they sound better but yeah, other than that, don't be doing that. But what I'm talking about, guys, is if you spend a bit of money on a guitar, you know, you think it's a lot of money. So I'll give you a quick story. Uh, some people I know who spent money on um, guitars, quite a lot of money, but, but they were just too afraid to play the damn thing. And it's something that always got to me because you bought this guitar, you spent the money on this guitar, but you don't want to play it because they didn't want to scratch it. They didn't want to have any marks on it, no scuffs or anything on it. And then I thought, what's the point? Just what is the point of spending money on a guitar and just never playing it because you don't want to damage it? Or have any scratches on it. So the main thing of what not to do when buying an expensive guitar is not play it. That's what not to do. Not play it. Play the damn thing. I mean, my guitars here, the the Gibson V and this ESP2, were expensive guitars. But I'm not just going to let them sit in the case. Hell no. You've seen me play these guitars, and I like to throw them about a bit bash them around. I mean, when I've been doing some of my covers, they've been hitting the corner of the cabinet. I've got my keys and they obviously, my keys scratch back of the guitar and you know, it gets dinked, it gets dented, but that's what makes that, that's what makes the guitar your guitar, it gives your guitar character. Am I right? My Flying V's got um, scratches all over the back where, you know, when I've had belt buckles or again, my keys, and when you're picking, you know, you know, you're know, picking, going crazy, doing your shreddy stuff, you get some scratches around here, some scratches up here. You'll get some sweaty stains on it when you've been playing it for a while. And But that, that, that makes the guitar yours. That gives your guitar character. And I just wanted to, you know, get that message across for all you people out there that spend thousands on guitars, but you just keep them in the case. I mean, I get it. If, if you're a collector and you don't really want to play, you just want to buy it to just to have it, fair enough. But if you're going to buy an expensive guitar, do not, and I mean do not, be afraid to play it. And that is the main big what not to do. Do not be afraid to play it. That's what it's for. Why else would they make it? So as a lot of you know, I've got my signature guitar coming out very soon with Granger Guitars, the Chug V. That thing's costing me just over a thousand pound. And I mean, the one thing I can't wait to do is to put that guitar on and absolutely just rock the shit out of it and have my keys just scratch it all up in the back and, and just, you know, dink it. Give it a little a bit of a bash here and there. And Because if you start thinking about it too much when you're playing, and you think, oh, oh, I've got to be careful, oh my God. You're not going to enjoy yourself because the more you think about something, the less fun you have. And it just makes it a very, very crap experience. And another thing, what not to do. Don't expect the guitar to 
to, well, to stay perfect all the way through in the sense that although we've spoke about, you know, it getting a bit scratched here and there, getting some wear and tear on it, which is normal. But also, I mean, I got a comment from a guy the other day, well, it's quite a while ago. Um, he had an ESP um, EC1000 or something along those lines. And it, the binding on the neck and the body, when he first got it, it was white. But as time has gone on, it's gone like a bit of a yellow colour. And he sent me some pictures. And uh, I was just like, well, it's happened. And you shouldn't worry about it. It is what it is. It's not going to affect the way the guitar sounds. So even if you've got a little bit of... Uh, discoloration or some scratches and dents, it's not going to affect how the guitar sounds. So why even worry about it in the first place? I mean, yeah, I guess talking about expensive guitars and and all that, but I think with any guitar, just don't be afraid to dig in, get stuck in there and, and, and show it some passion. Give it all your love. Oh, your hugs and kisses. No. Give it everything. You know, you want to you wanna be a one with your guitar. You want your guitar... To, oh my god, I nearly fell off the stool. You want your guitar to be part of you. Okay, you want to feel comfortable with it. You want, you want to be like this. It's like, a, uh, it's like an extra body part. But if you're afraid to give it a scratch and a bit of a play, it's just not going to work. It's, it's just not going to work. You might as well just, just know. So guys, let me know your thoughts down below on this subject. What do you think? Do you think guitars that are expensive and you get them, do you think they should be kept in pristine condition? Or do you feel that, nah, get the thing out and play it. And if you're one of those people that are afraid or don't like to play it too much because you don't want to scratch it up or get any marks on it, let me know down below in the comments. No judgment here. You do you. We all do our own thing. But let me know down below. And if you've had this kind of thought as well, where you, you like to give your guitar a bit of a bit of character, with some scratches and, and really just laying into it and having fun with it. Let me know down below in the comments. And also, don't forget about the competition that's happening, the Down Picking Challenge for the 20-something thousand subscribers. Uh, I'll link the video at the end where you can find out what you have to do and what you can win. Get involved. Uh, the closing date is the end of November. Uh, so get involved. All the people that have done it so far, thumbs up. Thank you very much. I cannot wait to be checking them all out. And uh, keep your eyes out for my next cover, as you may have saw on my Instagram, Die to Live by Volbeat. I've been practicing it, and uh, it's gonna be a good one. We're gonna rock out with our guitars. So thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you're new, hit that like button, comment below, follow me on Instagram, and as always, rock out, be awesome, and I will see you very soon. See ya!